We have seen it before when severe weather strikes, heavy rain can quickly close dozens, sometimes hundreds of low water crossings. A few months ago, a woman from Lano who likely didn't even realize that she was driving into the water died. Keg State investigator Aaron Cargyle shows us what police there are doing to try to make sure that doesn't happen again tonight. Well, good evening, Cindy and Robert. After our investigation last month, the city of Lano ordered larger, more visible barricades, and here's what they look like. The city manager just sent this photo to me about three hours ago. Now, this one is borrowed because the city doesn't have the real ones yet. They haven't arrived, but they all look the same. And if you look over here in the trailer, well, that's what they used to use. Here's a closer look at the tall cones. This is the Lano police chief last month showing me where the street department used to put them on the road in front of Flag Creek. That's changing as well. The new barricades will be moved back to the closest intersection so drivers will be rerouted in a safer spot. On that October night, neighbors say the cones were wiped away when the creek rose 20 feet. And police have no idea if they were still there when Becky Biddy drove through because police never checked them. They were too swamped with other calls. And the department was also at half staffing that night. And it was the new police chief's first day on the job. As of today, the police department is at 80% staffing. The chief also tells me he told all of his offers, officers to be on standby tonight. Today, I also learned the county has a new emergency management coordinator who comes with a lot of experience. He retired from the Houston Fire Department. Robert.